You're unlikely to see any of these photographs in your history textbooks, so I suggest you take a dive with us into the world of unique historical events and immerse yourself in the atmosphere of days long gone. A farmer painting his cow during World War II to prevent it from being accidentally hit by a car during a power cut, UK 1939. A British tourist couple in Puerto de la Cruz, Canary Islands in the 1890s. Residents of the Canary Islands used these unique wooden sleds for centuries. They were dragged along the ground using oxen harnesses. This form of transport was common in Gran Canaria until the late 19th century. A cyclist from Tarvatsu, Estonia on a self-made wooden bicycle in 1912. Lumberjacks transporting a log, California, 1895. A barrage balloon in London intended as a defense against aerial attacks, 1915. The winner of the Miss Atomic Bomb Contest in Nevada in 1950. A progressive farmer listening to the radio while working, 1923. Take a closer look, those aren't trees. An oil derrick forest at the Signal Hill Oil Field, Long Beach, California, 1937. Winston Churchill was an experienced bricklayer, among other things. He is pictured building a cottage for his daughters at his Chartwell estate in Kent, 1928. Tutankhamun's Common's folding bed dating back to the 14th century BC was discovered by Howard Carter in 1922. 3,000 people who built the Chase Manhattan Bank in New York, August 1964. Female jealousy in all its glory. Jane Mansfield posing with Miss Hollywood, 1957. London Nomads in 1877, photo by John Thompson. A hairstyle inspired by the Atomic Age, 1951. A talking advertising robot, Freddie Ford, at an auto show. Freddie had assisted Ford in selling cars at exhibitions since 1967. It wasn't very active, but it could answer a few questions from visitors. Most of his responses contained mundane jokes and enthusiastic praise for Ford's American products. East German border guards observing the dispersal of demonstrators using tear gas in East Berlin, 1988. River crossing in Belgian Congo between 1890 and 1908. Inner city bus station in Ghent, Kingdom of Belgium, 1912. Beer wagons in the Russian Empire carrying Zigorlevskoya beer between 1885 and 1905. France, 1951. Snails weren't considered a delicacy yet and were sold at a regular market. A regular train ride in the United States in 1906. Children learning to blow their nose properly during Hester's Howe's vacation school in Toronto, Canada, July 29, 1913. Meteorologist Madigan, after observing the weather on the first Australian Antarctic expedition in 1912, the placement of scientific instruments required constant attention, even in hurricane conditions. Madigan checked the meteorological equipment every morning and changed the registration coils of the recorders as outdoor work posed a significant danger. Once, his assistant Hodgman was blown away by the wind and couldn't return home for two hours. The main routes at the base were marked with stakes. In a blizzard, a person's face got covered in snow even under the hood. The snow then melted from body heat and breath and froze into a mask, as seen in the photo. A brave French bulldog named Mutt served in the American Engineering Corps and delivered cigarettes along the front lines during World War I, 1918. 600 soldiers paying tribute to the memory of 8 million horses killed during World War I, 1918-1919.